investigate with Chiaki finally. Uh, hello everybody, this is Kristen Master 4. Welcome back to Let's Play Dang and Rampa 2 Goodbye to Despair. Yay! Oh. That's. Yeah, that, that that's is. Chiaki, alright. Oh, hey, we can move normally again. Hey, you ate food, so you're good to go. Oh, hi, Sakura. Yeah, that ringing is a little annoying. Now that we've come all the way here, I can definitely hear something. Yep, it sounds like it's coming from the floor above us! But what could it be? The fucking phone? Maybe. Remember that had a really long, mo long ringtone and I did like a long ass sound with no beeps in the middle? You didn't. Oh, how, l how much louder it keeps getting, the more rooms we get closer to it. Jeez, it's so noisy! It's like that phone is ringing! Isn't it, it looks like that? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like that phone is ringing! Yeah, Chucky, because it is ringing. DON'T QUESTION ME! <laughs> oh, phone, huh? I guess I'll answer it. I Fucking click the phone! It's I annoying. guess I'll answer it! I finally found out where the sound was coming from! See? The phone is ringing! Why don't the you phone, answer it? The phone is ringing. There's a fruit in trouble somewhere because it's a fruit phone. What? There's the, the, the wonder pets. How am I supposed to know that? It's a TV show from your childhood. What the fuck is from wrong? my child? Because I watched the wonder pets. <laughs> I watched it like once because it was on after Magic School Bus. God damn it. <laughs> the theme song was like a meme for a little bit. A meme? Mm hmm. A meme. <clears throat> Back yes. before the internet even was a thing. No, it was a meme for a little bit like a few years ago. When? <laughs> it was a very small meme for like a week. <laughs> but it was still a meme. Whatever, I don't remember that. <laughs> Just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button. No, right. if the phone is ringing, you. you press to open the freaking. Phone! No, if the phone is, you don't push buttons. You just pick it up and answer. No, it's just a, there's a button. But you, they're calling you. But you so press you the don't... button. You press the button. Oh, you finally answered. Do I get to put a filter over this too? Yes. That voice is that you, Fuyuhiko? Jeez. Jeez, do you don't. <laughs> Jeez, don't you know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. What are you guys doing? Are you all still in Strawberry House? My... Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. And we can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door... Because the door button is there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Oh shit. Not only is the elevator broken, but... Strawberry Hall... Star Starberry Hall door is bro <laughs> broken button too. Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone's in Strawberry House is safe, right? We're safe, but we can't find that Gamaru anywhere. Do you know anything? Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it. So that's what it was. Shit, why did that have to be the Gamaru? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already... I see. I see. Great tower. If the store to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... Holy shit, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door, so they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation! Dumbass. Damn it, that dirty bastard! What about another way? Isn't there any, isn't there any way for you guys can come inside to the oh, side? Yeah. I guess we have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, what the hell will he... When the hell will he, you If idiot. he doesn't stand out now, when the hell will he, right? Based on what Kazuichi said, it's gonna be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. But he said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll, we'll be waiting. Are you guys gonna be okay? Damn right. Yeah, we'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. Until then, it's up to you bastards! Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House? No. No, it came from the outside. It came from frickin' the, the rat castle. You don't remember that place? Anyway, 
the others can't come over here because the elevator is broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They wait. Did Hajime not alert him to the fact that the door wasn't broken? No, the door button on their side's broken. What he told him. The, the person, the murderer, broke the button that would open Strawberry Door even if it wasn't locked. But then, what would be the point of locking it if you're gonna In break case the? Case when they were still leaving, someone pushed the button. But then it would. No, if they were still, like, in Grape House, because I obviously went over to Grape House into the But if you're tower. breaking the button, the door wouldn't open. So why lock the door and because also break the, the button? Because the time in between them breaking the button and getting out of the room, if somebody walked in before they got back, which means they're in Strawberry Tower. No. Or Strawberry... I'm just, I'm just asking why go through all that effort to, like, double because, lock. think about it. If the door wasn't broken, right? <sighs> if the door wasn't locked, they hadn't broken the button yet. So if they walked out of the tower, somebody could have walked into the tower and found the body before they wanted them to? Well, if they locked the door, then the button wouldn't work, right? That's what I'm asking. Yes, but they don't want them to know the door is locked. They want them to think the button's broken. Oh crap, we can't get through. Um. It's the killer trying to convince them one thing when we know something else. Again, it's to prevent a proper investigation. Dramatic like irony. Said. As long as the elevator's out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. But that's that's not all. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to Strawberry Hall? Mm. Then that door is blocked from both sides? There's a sturdy chain tied around from the out from the inside, and if the button is also broken on the outside, then yeah, it seems to be the case. Also, you know what's gonna happen? Um, what the killer did was make it so the room, the Grape Tower, is right now only accessible to Grape House. So that's gonna paint everyone in Grape House as the killer. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? No, it doesn't. How could they block both sides of the door? The button's broken on one side, but and how the door's could they chained. Do, but how could they do that from Grape? Exactly. How could they do it from Grape? Maybe they, they couldn't. Went, maybe it was a one-way trip. They broke the elevator on their way back. They went to Strawberry Tower. Like, they, they fucking locked where, well, it. Well, that's the question. Where's the elevator now? The elevator? I don't know where it is, but it's Because broken. if the elevator's at Strawberry and it's broken, then it's somebody in Strawberry House. Well, we gotta but know. if it's a grape, then it's different. Something strange about that. It'd be weird if Akane accidentally like killed him while they were fighting, and just hid afterwards. That would be. That, that would, would make. Suck. That wouldn't make any sense. But okay. I would like to investigate that in more detail. <clears> but <throat> if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means for now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but regardless, it's impossible either way. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator. All we can do now is put our hope in him. Wait, how could he be repairing the elevator if it's we don't know which house it's in? He's he's repairing the button. The button's not what's broken. So the elevator isn't moving. No, he said the elevator is broken. Yes, I will... he said it's not moving at all. Didn't he? Let's go back up the conversation tree. Yeah, it will be you missed it. You're past it. No, You're I didn't. Pass yes, it. you are. I'm going back to what he said. You keep going farther back. Someone not, broke it's not the moving elevator. moving at all. Well, they, it's not because they're in the elevator. I know, but it, how do they know it's not moving if they can't see it? No, but they didn't. They didn't say they were even able to open the elevator. They just said it's not but moving. How do they know it's not moving? Because then it would have opened up. The door would have opened up if it was moving. That's true. <laughs> not necessarily. Yeah, if it was moving to their location, then the door would have opened up. That's Once what it I mean. That's their location. Exactly. I don't know. We'll figure it. How do you fix an elevator if you can't open the door to fix it, though? You don't open. It's on the outside. You got to get the button to work so that you can access the elevator. So you can make the elevator move closer to you, so then you can fix it from the inside. Monokuma's okay. gonna wait. I don't, I don't have that much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix it I'm soon. I'm just confused as to how elevators can be fixed by soda. 
without being able to access it. Hey. Oh shit. I think I know what part this is. This is my Are favorite. you even listening? Hey, bastard! Hey, are you even listening? Oh, we're over here now. Damn right. Nagito, I'm talking to you! Uh -huh. Oh, come on! Uh -huh. We're playing fucking Nagito? <laughs> yeah, I told you, I love this, but you're gonna need me Jeez. for this part. Oh, good. Don't hum me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. Oh my god, my worst nightmares have come true. We're playing as Nagito. <laughs> hmm. You're probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I've been listening to you. Nekumaru was killed, right? And that party discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Out of everyone here, it just had to be Nekumaru. Damn it. After what he went through to come back to us, damn it! Oh my god. This is well, uh, good. It'll be you doing a lot more voicing yeah, than me. It will be. It's tantamount to being killed to twice. Truly, he was a man burdened by a terrible misfortune. Hey. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Uh, is it alright if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should. Get them on a Kuma file, right? Ah! He's here! Whoa! It's not. Ah! Too bad, I'm just letting him go with the ah thing. You're an idiot. It seems like you guys haven't noticed, or have noticed that the incident is taking place. So, this is for you! Bread and, milk. and there's a bonus item! It's the Fuck you. Your Come on, satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best in the investigation. <laughs> Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? Whatever, man. Let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. It's okay if you guys eat. Can you hear me out while you're at it? What is it? Well, I was thinking that we should do... I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True, there's no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it seems as if they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, yeah. Fine. It seems that we we'll too shall begin the investigation on our end, though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show, if I show Bubble my serious side, things will not end with mere child's play. Oh, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up from the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Ah, such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So we need to be grateful toward Nekumaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless. Whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm gonna find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> I hate this. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! <laughs> Why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in the case? Hey there! You know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Let's tr let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. 
Since we're staying at the strawberry side, in order for us to get to the meeting spot of the Grape Tower, we need to use the elevator first to get to, gra to go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m. Since it was right before Monoku Matai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. When we actually got there, the, bu on the, the button on the hall door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so, for Yuhiko suggested, we use the phone and call Grape House. This too must be and that true. was every- And that was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. But then how was Nekumaru able to get to Grape Tower? This is true. Maybe he was brought there before it was cut off. Yeah. Well, obviously you went before the elevator was disabled. Or you just went through the door. Oh my god. You couldn't. If you went through the door, it would not have been Grape Tower. It no. Been Strawberry no. Tower. Well, no, what? No. Maybe he was there at Strawberry Tower. It was still Strawberry Tower. Then he was killed. He can't be killed in Strawberry Tower if it was Grape Tower. No. He kill he was killed in Strawberry Tower. Then after he was completely motionless, then when we entered Grape Tower. Then how the fuck did the strawberry door to get chained up? They chained it up as they left? Because the door because the lights have to... They could have just couldn't... closed the door and then... Chained it afterwards? It doesn't mm. make any fucking sense! Mm, that's true. Well, obviously, yeah. I already... I know you did. And when was that? Ooh. Idiot, if I knew that, this wouldn't be difficult! <sighs> no, we might know what time we went to Grape Tower. You serious? I... Cause I knew you weren't gonna read it, so I might as well fucking skip that. I was that. gonna read it, but okay. I don't remember the lines now, cause you fucking- IT WAS oh. TWO WORDS! Seriously? <laughs> it was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean, you personally witnessed this Nekomaru going to Grape Tower? Hey, hey! When was the sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey. You didn't notice that either? Seriously? That thing is super loud! Huh? That's weird. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be on the same wavelength as trash like me. Hmm, looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Uh, oh! Oh, I know why. I think I know why. The night is my you must have been... You... You must have been in a deep slumber last night to not to notice the alarm and that rumbling noise. Hmm, <laughs> I see. You must have been possessed by a wandering succubus. What the fuck? For you to avoid being snatched away to the world of the dead. <laughs> I knew well you had the devil's luck. Hold on. Well, my luck is my only good quality. There's a reason he wouldn't have heard it. If you think way he back. He was in a crappy room, wasn't he? No, he was in the crappy room. He won the rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah, so he was in the deluxe room. So is that soundproof? Mm hmm. Mm. Monokuma said that. Yeah. Hey, you said you witnessed Nekomaru at sunrise. That's my right? line, you dumbass. Fuck you. Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I. I was so hungry yesterday, I couldn't sleep. I figured it was an early morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off, it was still around 5 a.m. Hey! And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head off in the lounge. Hmm. 
Phil's hair looks like it's veiny. Mm -hmm. I saw Nakamura's back. It was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like that would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey. But why would Nikamura wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat there in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekomaru. Until just now. Then, from the time you saw Nekumaru until the time the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time? But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? Huh? Was I right? You... Of course not, asshole! You're completely wrong! Translation, you're right. You're a hardcore tsundere, and it's great to know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pekka or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Fuck you! Fuck you! Alright, have fun playing as Nagito. Fuck you! Hey Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about the rumbling noise and the ringing clock? What was that all about? Seriously, you don't know? Well, you're, you're, you're gonna start talking to yourself now. You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. <sighs> huh? Hmm, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. Story time! I was sleeping peacefully in my room, and all of a sudden, I heard this huge sound. <laughs> what the hell? The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And as I went down the hall toward the lounge... Hey! What are you doing? That's a weird tooth. This rock is... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. I, I know. I'm in the middle of doing that. And that's when the sound finally stopped. And this happened at 5.30. 5.30. Which is when Akane heard Kablam. God, this, yeah, I think that I think that's around the time that Gamoru died. And that loud sound is to put off the I the think plan. I figured it out. I won't say anything. Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with, with sonic resonance. You! Fuyu Hiko! What was this note you're doing just now? Shut up! Why would I do anything so childish? Why, you why like would anyone five? do something so childish? You look like you're five. You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seemed to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was in the lounge by coincidence. See? Coincidence? Hmm. Mm hmm. Huh? What? Do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Mm hmm. Man, thanks for you, Hiko. I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. There it Kablam! is. Kablam! So it was after. It was a little while after 5:30. No, it was like exactly 5:30. Obviously, a little after. What was that sound? What's going on? A earthquake? This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building's gonna collapse, right? Hmm. Hey, Kazuichi, stop <laughs> clinging to me. I'm just picturing like him holding him Scooby Doo style. Yeah, and that's what happened. You mean Shaggy style? I see. So you're the one who was clean to Fuyuhiko? That's obviously wrong. Th that's not important part. That is not important <laughs> part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys sep just separate? Hey. 
We decided to wait things out, but in the end, it was nothing else happened. Also, and not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep, what you just said now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I've thought of one suspicious person. I actually have two in mind. Who? What? Just in case, one for each room. <laughs> or one for each house. Who's your suspicious people? Well, who are you talking about? Me, of course! Huh? You suspect yourself? Obviously. I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud and everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for that rumbling noise you guys heard after that. Were you... Hey, you better not try and be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course I'm not. For now. <laughs> Fuck you. That for now line was making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you first heard, the rumbling noise that came right after? Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? I'm destroying my voice right now. Welcome to Nagito Plays Danganronpa. <laughs> yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekumaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekumaru apparently went to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. And when that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiku was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. No, well, well then I think about it. Something might have been happened to Nekomaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekomaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on. If Nekomaru died when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Mm-hmm. Alibi? Yeah, I mean, that's what the clock's for. Is when we heard the rumbling noise, we were all in the lounge, you know? It's to create an alibi for people to not go and save him. If that's when the killer murdered Nekumaru, then we have a solid alibi. Get it. Can't argue with that. It might, be t it might be too soon to declare that just yet. This is also true, because it might it either gives you a solid alibi or put you right in the path of the murder. We can't be certain unless we first clip the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm, a rumbling noise. Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's something I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. Mm -hmm. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? Uh, once the elevator's fixed, I'm gonna let you- I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi raced down the stairs, complaining for some reason. So what should we do now? Uh, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges on both Grape House and Strawberry House. You want to see if they're both accurate? Right after you heard that strange rumbling sound that didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why? I'll, I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard. Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator's fixed, there's a chance I may not be with you all anymore. Hmm? What? Anyway, I'm counting on you. That bastard doesn't make any sense. I know where he's going. Now then, here comes the main event. You're going to the final dead. There's room, only aren't one you? thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. You're going to the final dead room, aren't you? I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah that goes in that place. You're going to the final dead room, aren't you? You should probably. 
you're going to the final dead room that we gotta wait for. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator, the door, at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, might be good to check and make sure they're really blocked off. Yeah, we're... I guess Nagito is going to the final dead room next time. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what. The I fuck. love that we're playing as Nagito. It I, sucks. I get to voice a lot of stuff, so I'm happy. Yeah, you get to take over my voice. Thank God. I'm not taking over your voice. Dude. You just don't have to do your voice anymore. See you guys later. For me. See you guys later for when Nagito so plays Dragon Rampa too. Yeah, yeah. Now you got to do the intros and outros because you're Nagito. No. Yeah. It's still your channel. But it's Nagito plays, so you gotta it's do not it. Not Nagito playing is Nagito. Yep. Yep. Nagito's playing is Nagito, and I'm just the guest. No. That's how it works. So. Uh, Bye. It's t it's you go smoke some weed. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a lot of drugs right now, so, uh... Gotta stay drugged up for next episode. Yep, gotta get even more drugged up for next episode. <laughs> We're both Nagito now. Yep. We may have to start swapping that if that keeps up because it's destroying my vocal cords. I had 80% of the character <laughs> roster, Joe. You have no excuse. See you fucking later. <laughs>